The story is headline news today. A new study questions the value of mammograms to screen women for breast cancer. There is a lot of confusion and frustration about this report, which first appeared yesterday in the British Medical Journal. So we asked our Dr. John LaPook to look into it. Almost 90,000 Canadian women ages 40 to 59 were screened over a five-year period. Researchers found no difference in deaths from breast cancer between women who got mammograms and those who didn't. The women were followed for up to 25 years. In addition, 22% of the cancers found by mammography were considered unlikely to ever cause death. In recent years, controversy over the value of mammograms has led to confusion among both patients and physicians. In 2009, a major independent task force said women could consider waiting until age 50 for their first mammogram. The previous recommendation was 40. It also said women 50 to 74 should get mammograms every two years instead of every year. So, John, a middle-aged woman screening mammogram or not? Scott, you would think by now we would have the definitive answer to that question, but we simply do not. Now, I did speak to the head of that major task force that looked at guidelines, and she said, for now, there's no change in the guidelines that we described in the piece. But we do have all this conflicting information about whether screening mammogram lowers the risks of death from breast cancer over a long period of time. Anywhere from no reduction, that's today's study, to up to 30% reduction. If there was ever a time when doctors have to own the study, own the data, and really be able to explain the risks and benefits to patients, it's right now. What are some of the risks and benefits? Well, on the risk side, if a woman who's 50 years old is screened with an annual mammogram for 10 years, about half the time, half the women are going to have what's called a false positive. That is an abnormality where it turned out there really was nothing the matter in the first place. It was just something with the test. Also, we're finding out that in a percentage of these women, as we mentioned earlier, there's a cancer that's discovered, but it was never going to kill the woman, and you're having all this unnecessary treatment. Could be chemo, surgery, radiation. On the positive side, there's decrease in anxiety, knowing you're in a screening program. And then, of course, a lot of the studies already show that there is a benefit in terms of decreasing the odds of dying from breast cancer. So we're, we're kind of still confused a bit by this. I know it's frustrating for people, but that's where we are. John, thanks very much.